rise and grind. Well, rise and shine because it's a Sunday. So I don't know how many of you guys are grinding today. I'm going to do a little bit of grinding today, I guess. Well, grind doesn't stop. It never, ever stops. But I'm feeling great this morning, actually. I slept very well last night. Well rested, as usual. And it is a Sunday. Happy Sunday, guys. And I wanted to do a quick video. This isn't going to take that long on a mini shopping haul that I did yesterday while I was at the Malcolm Shabazz African Market on 116th Street in Harlem, New York. It's one of my favorite places to go. Like, I just can't get enough of this place. I think, what was the first thing I bought from Malcolm Shabazz African Market? What was the first thing? I can't remember my first purchase. I know it was this year though, but I can't remember what was the first thing I purchased. I don't know. Hmm. That's because I buy so many things. That's why. I don't know. What was it? Was it a I'm looking around trying to get <laughs> trying to get some cues here, like. <laughs> Let me see. What did I buy from Malcolm Shabazz? I think it was in the summertime, I would like to say, when I first discovered Because I was just walking, perusing through the streets of Harlem. And I want to say maybe it was a bracelet. I don't know. But anyway, I can tell you guys. That I love this market because I'm not going to waste time trying to wreck my brain <laughs> remembering. And that's the thing. People ask me often, where did you get that from? And I buy things from different places. Right? I buy like my African regalia, my African garb, you know, like jewelry. I buy it from so many different places that sometimes I can recall and sometimes I just cannot. For the most part, I think I can recall where I got my African um regalia from like these pants i know i got from la but can i tell you where oh i can tell you where i can actually tell you where i got these from this african owned um store in inglewood can i tell you guys the name it'll come to me i can't remember the name because there's so many different places i've been to but yeah, I, I, I don't wear these pants that often, but I like them. What do you guys think? I like them. They're kind of like baggy, like at the top. But me like, me like. So recently, or yesterday, I went to uh, um, the Malcolm Shabazz African Market again. And they remember me now. Like I've been there so frequently that they remember you, girl. What's up, Rodrigo? They remember me, so I went there yesterday and I was wearing my uh, Malian coat that I purchased a couple weeks ago. And the guy who made the coat, he was looked at me, he smiled, he remembered me. I guess he was like, ah, I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing the work of his hands. Grand Rising. So, where are you watching from, Rodrigo? If you haven't told me this already. So, yeah, but yesterday I wanted to go back because I saw, when I purchased, when I purchased the coat, I saw some purses that I wanted to get. So, I was like, you know what, I got to come back. Because I have this thing where, in my mind, if I've already reached my limit, like, I've spent enough money. You told me that already, Virginia. You give me, like, island vibes. I don't know why. Maybe it's your name. Um, but I have this thing where like, I feel like if I've spent enough money already, I'm like, I cut it off. I was like, you know what? I maxed out. And the funny thing, my bank will definitely let me know. They will send me an alert and say, wait a minute, there is some unusual activity happening on your account because my bank know how I spend my money. My bank know, I don't just be like swiping, 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 swiping. Like I'll swipe, but I think like. I kind of space it out some, you know, because I think that's just a smart way to do things, especially when it comes to managing money, finances. So, I went back and bought 
some purses I'm going to show you guys. And happy about it. First, I'm going to show you guys this necklace, this drum. What do you call this drum? My friend told me yesterday the name. I forget the name. Let's see. You think I can fit this over my head? And I had one of these before. This is like the third type, third time I bought this drum, right? I bought the first one I had. Oh, the first one. The first one I had back when I used to live in New York City. This was in 2014 before I moved to LA to work on my PhD. I think I like, I really like that one. It was a bit smaller than this one. But it was just like this one. It's actually the one that I'm wearing on my profile picture on my fan page. This fan page. No, this is a, a Ghana drum. Ghanaian. You can see the kente cloth here. So the first Ghanaian drum I had is, I forget the exact name. It's a different name for it. I don't want to fuck it up, so I'm definitely not going <laughs> to have to research it. Because I heard it several times yesterday, mentioned yesterday. But for me, I have to see things to remember a lot of times, too. So, yeah, the first one I had was back in New York. And I love that one. That's the one I'm wearing in my profile picture on Facebook. And then I have no idea what happened to that one. And then I bought another one when I was out in L.A. And I felt good about it, right? I was like, yes, I finally got another drum. I think I got it from the same place where I got these pants from, right? And do you know, I was, I went to Victoria's Secret to size my breasts because I noticed my breasts had gotten bigger. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's crazy because I, I looked at, when I moved back to New York, right? And I moved into this apartment here on October 1st. And I was going through my clothes that I had left in storage here in New York City while I was out in L.A. And I'm looking at, like, my bra size. I'm looking at all of my clothes, right? My shorts, my pants, you know, scarves, coats that I had. And I noticed, like, the size of my bras. I was like, yo, B cup? I was wearing a B cup when I was in New York City. Yo, I moved to, I fuck where I moved to L.A. I'm in a C cup now. I just stepped the game up. So when I was out in LA, I had to go get size to see what the exact size. And I'm, I'm glad they do this at Victoria's Secret. It's for free. And she sized me. And, you know, I went in the dressing room. She sized me and told me what my size was. And I went in there. I was wearing my African drum. I know I was. But... Guess what? When I left and I walked away from Victoria's Secret, I noticed my African drum. I think, no, when I noticed it, because I had took the train back home. I got on the train in L.A. And I was talking to this, this guy came and sat by me, right? It was this guy. And I remember being so upset because it's like the string part, right? The necklace was there around my neck, but the drum was missing. So I figured it was one or two things. I figured it was either when I was undressing or, you know, putting back on my clothes, redressing. I felt that, okay, maybe it snapped and maybe it just landed on the floor. But I'm like, that's something I would have noticed, though. In that dressing room. And I remember even taking a picture in the dressing room. I took a picture of it because I liked the design of the dressing room. Number one, it was like pink and all flowery. I liked the design, so I took a picture of the dressing room. I would have saw the drum on the... I don't, I don't know, you guys. So, yeah, I noticed, like... Yeah, I was talking to the guy. He was, like, kind of bothersome. He was trying to, like, spit game, you know. He was just going to come and sit next to me, like... I don't even ask, like, oh, can I sit here? He's, like, just sat next to me and just trying to spit game. He was talking and da-da-da-da. And I think, was it when he got off the train before I did, I, I looked down and I'm just like, oh. So that was the last one I had back in L.A. and I decided to buy another one. But this one, I am not going to lose you. All right, let's see if I can put it on my head. I am not going to lose this. 
spinning, slipping, slipping. Here we go. Yay! I love it. I don't know why I like it so much. I just, it just, it just fits me. I love it. <laughs> then I also got, well, my friend got me this actually. I was gonna get it, but he was like, "No, I'll get it." I was like, "I can get it." <laughs> I can get it. I don't know. Is it me? Is it only me, ladies? But I'm like, I like to buy things for myself, right? I mean, I don't mind if a guy does it, but you know, it's just something about saying like, you know, I got it. Like, I can buy it for my own stuff, right? But he offered to buy. He offered to pay for these two things, right? And then he gave me the meaning of what this was. So the person who sold me this bracelet said that it. Um, has three different types of materials so it is metal brass and copper and I'm thinking the silver is the metal the yellow is the which one is the brass and which one is the copper would you say the yellow is the copper and then the other color looks like peaches, peaches color, like a peach, peach color. Is that um, brass? Yeah, I think so. So the yellow is copper. The silver is metal. And the peach, orange looking color, the peaches. <laughs> Say peaches. The yellow is brass. I haven't gotten to the energy crystals, but I see it's a big thing, though. So, the yellow is brass. Why would I think the yellow would be copper and the other color brass? Because, I guess, isn't brass worth more than copper? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, those are the three different materials here. And it's pretty, like... This thing is pretty solid. Yo, you can knock somebody out with this shit. But it's pretty solid. And my friend gave me the meaning of it. He was like, okay, I'm going to buy this for you. And I'm going to tell you what the meaning is. I'm like, all right. So then he told me, like, it means, he said this, he said the silver, the metal means protection. And it protects me against um what do you say it protects me against um double evil spirits like <laughs> sometimes i wonder they're all conductors for energy oh okay electric for my body so sometimes i wonder like do africans just be coming up with random names or meanings for different things but maybe so though maybe like it really means that and he also told me that um, he got it for me as like a friendship bracelet. I'm like, all right. <laughs> He's from Senegal too, by the way. But as far as the protection from evil spirits, I'm like, do I need to wear something to protect me from evil spirits? I never thought I would need to. Um, but I like the thought. I like the idea of it, I guess, you know. Not that I have to wear this to feel protected because I feel protected either way. If I'm, whatever I'm wearing, it doesn't matter if I'm wearing something or not wearing something. I feel protected if I'm naked, pretty that way. I, like, I don't have to wear clothes to feel protected or wear something necessarily to feel protected. Like, I'm protected regardless, so. Copper also supports blood circulation. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. And uh, kind of removes the toxins. I heard about that when I was walking down 125th Street because I got some copper bracelets. But, okay, where are the copper braces I got? It's behind this mirror that I'm not trying to... Hold on, let me go around the other side and grab it. So, I'm, I'm going to show y'all these copper bracelets and tell you guys about these for a minute. Because I thought they were really cute. I thought they were really cute when I got them. But then they, the color starts to fade. I don't like that. 
So you can shape them. So the guy who sold me these, he told me about it and I thought it was really cool. The meaning and the purpose, the function of these um, bracelets. And I did wear them, but I haven't worn them like lately really. But I'm like, all right. He was like, oh yeah, it's really good for a lot of um, medically related things and it helps blood circulation. I'm just like, oh, okay. I do walk a lot though. I'm pretty active. So I'm like, I think walking helps with that too. But the idea is cool. I just don't like that. It seems like it's like, is it me? But it just seems like it's discolored. And my friend was telling me about like how on top of buildings, um, they use copper or some buildings like have copper, uh, roofs and the copper like turns a different color. And when it turns a different color, like it adds value to the building because usually it goes from like this color, like a brownish color to like green. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but whatever. Whatever, if you say so. So, I don't know. It's good that you mentioned that, though, about the meaning of the copper bracelets. Because I may pull these back out. I have so much jewelry. And maybe I might do another video separate, maybe later this week. On all the jewelry that I have. Like the African jewelry that I've, I've collected over the years. But I do have a lot. Yeah, it's used for roofing, right? So these are the purses I got. And like I said, I had to go back because when I went there a couple weeks ago and I purchased my um my coat, my Malian coat, I had spent way I spent close to four hundred dollars, I think, that day. So when I realized like, you know what? I I think I spent too much. <laughs> you gotta have a limit. You can't just be like spinning, 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 right? So I was like, okay, I'll buy this a different day. So I came back and I got this. And in my mind, I don't know how I got that. I thought she told me it was $40 when I first uh, saw this. But she told me yesterday, $20. Yo, $20. I was like, what? $20. newspaper and you know knowing me I'm so freaking curious I probably would like to open the newspaper to see what the date is on it and see what's on it <laughs> the newspaper has really nothing to do with the freaking bag other than it was found in the bag but it's the New York Times from September 30th so from the business section all right, so this is it, and this is the inside, but I think it's perfect for me, because the purse that I have, the purse I'm using now anyway, and I know women can relate, like the thing about purses, you can have, you can say, you know what, I'm going to downsize, I'm going to carry a smaller purse, because who wants to carry a big ass purse, because it adds weight, right, it's just baggage that you end up carrying around so i think every woman can relate to this and has experienced this where they say i'm going to downsize and carry a smaller purse which i did and my other purse you know it's probably half this size right you guys probably seen that i've, I've worn it in videos and i feel like okay it was, i was doing good but then you find yourself adding more things and the purse just starts to get thicken right I'm just like, why is my zipper difficult for me to close? <laughs> because it's just too much stuff in there. So, here I am. <laughs> but, because uh, it's like, you know what? It's harder to, like, get to what you need to when the purse is packed full, right? And you're trying to squeeze your fingers in there to grab, like, a piece of gum. Or, I was trying, yesterday I was trying to grab my, um, my oil, right, to put around, you know, my neck and my my uh, wrist. 
and I, I spent like five minutes just trying to dig in there and the purse isn't that big like I said it's like half this size but enjoy the rest of your day as well but I'm glad that I got this though this is you guys can see this is Molly cloth this is from Molly I have a thing for Molly mud cloth my friend told me about what it's made of how they make it and they make it from natural ingredients from the earth they extract the colors from natural ingredients from the earth like nuts and some other things and you know they create a dye i'm like oh cool but i'm loving this all right now let's see what's going on with this strap definitely want to have to make it longer I want to wear it across my uh, body. Am I doing this right? Am I doing it right? Wait. Hold on. I can't believe like Christmas is just two weeks away. Okay. Okay. stretch it out a little bit but this might be perfect you know because i have like direct access just ah. i like it it's me it's me all the way and i can just like throw it in the bag it's deep enough only thing it doesn't have like a chain oh wait there's a pocket on this side on the outer part nice there's a pocket here things in there nice so because this was only she said it was $20 I was like all right I might as well just get two because in my mind I'm I'm prepared to spend $40 but she said it was only 20 so I got another and it pretty much looks the same as the first one and so, what's the difference? I would say, yes, maybe a little bit darker than it has, like, the half and half design. The black here. Ooh, I like the inside of this one. Look at the inside of this one. like it's made out of really good solid material so love it love it <laughs> i never carry a purse like this you guys know the funny thing is that growing up i never really was a purse person i talk about this that you gotta go back to my youtube channel and go back like my very first videos like click on oldest so it can arrange my videos by date and show you like start with like the oldest videos that i made way back when but i talked about how like i was a person a woman that never really liked to carry a purse and i listened to myself talk i was just like girl you have not changed at all you have not changed but i love it i think which one i might you know what i might have to start with this one first i love i love all right, you guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you guys later. Smooches. <laughs>